Hello and welcome to tutorial number five in the CB Auto Action series. Uh, CB Auto Actions is a very, very powerful plugin that basically can do almost anything for you in terms of uh, helping you set up other workflows and processes on your website. Uh, today we'll be looking at the CB Blogs Auto Action. So in preparation, first of all, let me just go, CB Blogs is now incorporated into Community Builder 2.0. So we've set up uh, in our Joomla content categories, we've set up here a, a user blogs category with a number of subcategories in it. And I've added for this specific uh, tutorial uh, yet another subcategory called Welcome New User. And I've also created a menu item here in the main menu called Welcome. And basically what this looks like in the front end is here. There's a Welcome menu that basically shows us the articles in this uh, subcategory. And I've configured CB Blogs here. We just go and look at it in the plugin management area. If I go to CB Blogs, I basically configured in the parameters area the blogs to be the, the Joomla model, and basically uh, the user can can uh, select any category in the user blogs category tree. Okay, so what that means if I was logged in to the front end. For example, here, uh, admin. Okay, and if I go to my profile, I see the blogs tab. I can create a new blog, and I can basically select uh, any category in this area. Okay, I've added basically the welcome new user category under the tree here, but I could have uh, had this category somewhere else. But that's let's just keep it like this for now. So the idea is I want to create a, a new auto action. So if I go to Community Builder, Plugin Management, Oh, before I go there, uh, I also have created a new field, Community Builder field here, for this tutorial specifically. And I'll just call it Welcome. Okay, so it's a welcoming message. And basically what I've done here, if you look at it, it's not editable or searchable. Uh, it's only on the registration and it's basically read only. Okay, so let me just go and look at it here. It's a it's a text area field. I put it in the additional info tab. Uh, it's read only, and I'm not showing it during edit. So it can only be filled out basically during the registration process. And let's just look at this. Log out here and look at it in the registration form we'll see that at the end basically of our form we have here is the welcome message that a user could basically type in whatever they want okay so that's the preparation so what what I'm trying to do now with this auto action is when a new user signs up and is approved there's no reason to do it if they're not approved and is approved then this, uh, then the auto action will automatically create a new article in the welcome category here on behalf of that user. So let's see what this looks like in the back end. Community Builder, Plugin Management, and we go to our auto actions here. I've created already, I call it, it's a CB blogs type, and let's just look at it. In detail so I'm using the trigger after user approval 
Makes sense. Okay. It's a CB blogs type. Everything default here for everybody. And it's a little uh, the title is create new intro blog after new user approval. And basically description says this action will create a new CB blog article for each new user after approval. Conditions, no conditions. The action is this. We want it to be published automatically. Make it public. And we select a category here. We can select any category from the uh, uh, the blog. Okay, so new user. And we have a title here. We basically want to substitute the title with the username and the name of the new user signing up. So we see we have substitution fields are supported in the title and also in the blog intro which I have HTML code here paragraph hello my name is name substitution and I am glad to be here and then a new paragraph here is my personal welcoming message to the community and we just substitute we have an horizontal line here and we just substitute the CB underscore welcome message which is the text area that uh, the user fills in during the registration process. That's all there is to it. So we can test this easily. Let's just go to the front end and do a new registration. And let's just call this user uh, Christina. Christina K, her last name, for example. And let's make her username Chrissy, for example. Let's do Christina at whatever. This is a bogus email. Give it a password. <coughs> Verify it. Accept terms. Fill in female. This is the privacy plugin that's kicking in. I'm not putting in a date, birth date, it's not required, marital status not required, but why not single? Yeah, experience. And this is the welcoming message. I can just put this a little bigger and give a welcoming message here. How about something like, I am into chess and tennis, and I would love to hook up with other community members that are also into these activities. Sounds good enough. And we click sign up. Okay, this, uh, the process is a confirmation and approval, but let's just go ahead in the back end. And I see here the welcome tab. There's nothing added yet because this user has not been approved yet. So if I go to the back end now and go community builder user management, I will see, let me just show more users here. <coughs> I will see Christina K is basically pending confirmation and pending approval. Let me just go ahead and confirm the user. I'm not approving here. I could have done it in one uh, one step, but I'm just confirm her first. Save. <coughs> oh, or save or close, whatever. So now we see her here that she's just pending approval. And let's just go ahead and approve the user. This basically triggers the auto action now. And if I go to the front end and do a refresh here in the welcome menu, we see a new article has been created. And we can just click on this and we see the name, the title of the article is the username dash the last name. Let me spell it. That's okay. Chris, Krishna, Krinya. That's kind of wrong. But anyway, that's what I typed in. Uh, hello, my name is whatever. And I'm glad to be here. And here's my personal message. This is a substitution that took place. I'm into chess and so on. So we see this is a very powerful uh, action that we can basically use in a number of different ways. Uh, but this is just one use case example. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.